Hey guys, welcome back to Callus Draft League, the finals. The finals dominated up to this point by the green team. You guys did not see this draft, and I was going to cover it, but honestly, with where we are matches-wise, 4-0, it may not even matter. Hopefully, I don't come to regret that decision, but I didn't want to waste my time if it ends up not mattering. So, I guess it's going to be a mystery how they got there. Enjoy the damn match anyway. It is Damn Flame on the bottom against Egg Bombs on the top. Damn Flame is for green. Egg Bombs is for purple. And they really, really, really need him, Egg Bombs that is, to get a win here. Because it is 4-0 and it is getting, not even getting, it is out of hand right now. And if they want any chance in hell, purple needs to make a stand right here, right now. Best of one. Anything could happen. Make it happen, Egg Bombs. Here we go. Damn Flame is going to lead Regirock, and it's going to be met with a Metagross. Might be walking into counter. That is exactly what happens, and down that goes. Oopsie daisy. Here comes Lax into Milo, but a very, very good starting turn for Damn Flame and the green team. Weezing comes in to check it. Presumably it has Cool Haze, which is probably what he needs here. Will-O-Wisp works as well, but unfortunately against Moltres, that is going to be immune. Toxic there is going to miss on Milo. Not a huge deal. It probably has Refresh, but that is also not going to care about Toxic. Lax has immunity. Finds Weezing again, unsurprisingly. We'll see what his actual attack is here. Sludge Bomb is probably the best case scenario. He can at least fish for a poison against Swampert, but the damage is pathetic at just 8%. And he didn't find his poison. He did find a Will-O-Wisp burn, however. Not that Swampert couldn't ever refresh, because it very well may. Pain Split is whatever there. And what do you know? It's refresh. So that's going to deal with Weezing. No problem, because even if Sludge Bomb were to poison it, he can just refresh it away. So this is a well-built team. Yes, the Weezing that he probably knows is coming is going to neutralize the Lax. But if it does, it's going to struggle against the Moltres and the Swampert. Good team building by Damn Flame or just the green team as a whole. Whoever built the team for Damn Flame here. So, Gardevoir coming in. An unpredictable poke. Very, very wide move pool here. Going to start things off with a Calm Mind. And follow it up with a Hidden Power. Fair enough. That is going to get him right back in the game in what is now a 5-5 five to five situation. And he's going to burn the Lax, so... Gardevoir doing work here for Egg Bomb. Now Glalie comes in. There's another Calm Mind. Unless it's got Boom, he's not really going to be able to hurt him here, but that must be what he's anticipating. That's not what he was expecting. He's going to get a Light Screen, actually. Fair enough. And he's got Lumberry to get rid of the initial Toxic, but not the follow-up. And here comes Weezing, maybe trying to eat a Boom, but instead it is three layers of Spikes. Sludge Bomb happens there, 9%. And like I said, we know the poison, if you were to find it, doesn't matter because you could just refresh it away. Instead, going to go for Ice Beam. And he is going to find a Freeze. 10% chance of doing that. Now Gardevoir reappears, stepping on the spikes in order to do so. The Trace of Torrent there is irrelevant. But that Hidden Power that he showed earlier very well might be Grass. And Damn Flame, of course, aware of that, gets out of the way. Hidden Power 28% to Glalie. Ice Beam can't freeze even if it wanted to. In fact, it did try to freeze there, but Freeze Claws activated. And Psychic is going to take Glalie out. So the lead goes back to Egg Bombs, but only for a fleeting moment as a critical hit Flamethrower equalizes the game at 4-4. Four four. Both parties have unrevealed. So here comes Breloom. Staring down a Burnt Lax here. Advantage Breloom, obviously. Going to get a Leech Seed going, fair enough, just takes a 29% return in exchange, but going to get a hell of a lot of that back from the Leech Seed. Now Moltres comes in, and that handles the Sky Uppercut just fine at just 24% in a Sandless game. Now my Lotic is going to come in, it's going to nimbly dodge Toxic yet again. Now Lax comes in, and again he's going to try to Toxic into the Lax, which is both burnt and has immunity, so that certainly wouldn't do it. And Breloom takes 26 now. And the reason he's taking so little is because of the burn. Moltres in. Finds himself leech seated. 
Now Raikou comes in. That's the last poke for Damn Flame. Still haven't seen the last poke for Egg Bomb. But obviously Raikou with the advantage on my low tick. He's going to stay in. And my low tick is going to go down. So the lead at a crucial time is going to go over to Damn Flame. And he's got HP Ice to hit the Dragonite. But it gets a Dragonite, uh, Dragon Dance off. But apparently he is not EV'd to be faster than the Raikou after a Dragon Dance, which is very, very questionable. And now the Raikou is just going to clean up. I do not understand the switch out there. It just does not make any damn sense to me. I, I would think that the Dragonite would be EV'd, would have like whatever, 242 or whatever the magic number is, base speed. And then just click Dragon Dance and be faster than Raikou for exactly this reason. You outspeed it, you click EQ, and you're in business. Then your plus one Dragonite is a reasonable threat against what's left on the other side. Or at least we have a game. But as it stands, without those EVs, Raikou is simply going to clean things up for Damn Flame. And it is now a commanding, overwhelming, ridiculous ridiculous lead of 5-0 for the green team and in order to come back and by come back i mean force a tiebreaker purple is going to have to win every single match from here on out there are five matches remaining and purple must win all of them just to tie and go to a tiebreaker never say never but it is looking overwhelmingly like the green team, who has been in the lead and has been the best team all tournament long. It is looking very much like the green team is going to finish the job. Stay tuned and see how it plays out. See you in the next video.